Hey, what's going on guys? Arix here, welcome back to another video for Monster Hunter World Iceborne. And today, I wanna to talk about armor. So far, we've had two trailers for Iceborne, two noteworthy trailers, and we've had a ton of weapon previews. And across all of those, we've seen quite a few different armor sets. Now again, for any of you that are new to Monster Hunter World, as a reminder, that when we go into Master Rank, even if we fight monsters that we've fought before, in Master Rank, we will get a completely new set of armor in the past whenever you go to G Rank and you fight the G Rank version of a monster, invariably their armor set is so much cooler in G Rank. So, what I thought I would do in this video is pull together a list of all the Master Rank armor sets we've seen so far, and what I'll also try and do if they are pre-existing armor sets, then I may well get some images from previous games to kind of give you a better picture if we haven't seen them too clearly. So, if you guys do enjoy this, then like would be super appreciated. Let me know what armor sets you like the most so far. And of course, don't forget to uh, turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of our Monster Hunter content dropping next week. Now, starting off with the very first trailer, of course, we get a look at this armor set. Now, as a reminder, this one is actually a layered armor set. It's specifically this one, but they said in the Famitsu article that this will be layered so that way when you're going to the new world, you can kind of keep that snowy, you know, appropriately geared aesthetic without having to sacrifice it because of the gear. So this one specifically, everyone can wear that. And if you really like it, it means you can also carry it through to the end of the game. Moving on from there, we also got a look at the back of what I believe to be Master Rank Tommy Kodachi gear for the male. This is of course on the Longsword user. Looks incredibly awesome and I'm making that assumption based on the scales and the patterns and the kind of typical coloration on it. And the same also more than likely applies to the Longsword that he's wielding. We also get a look at what I believe to be Master Rank Paolumu gear for the female hunter because again it has that typical fluffy appearance to it, much like we've seen in Paolumu gear before. And again the sword and shield being wielded in this instance also appears to be from that same monster. The Heavy Bogon user, right next to her in the same hunting party, is wearing Master Rank Titiyaku gear with the Titiyaku Heavy Bogon, and the Hunter in front is decked out in Master Rank Kuruyaku gear, which uh, is probably going to be mighty cold in that cold environment, but either way, that's his choice. Then when we jump over to the battle against Naga, we actually get a look at the female Bambaro armor set. We've seen this before, and of course we've seen this in the weapon previews, but getting a chance to see the female one, when she spins around you can see that, unlike the male one, which has a full face helmet and a hefty beard, instead this one has an open helmet with plaits down either side, much like a kind of Viking female hairstyle. If we then jump forward to the second trailer, the one that dropped this week, then we of course get a look at that Master Rank Rathalos gear, which is really awesome. Looks kind of more like the traditional sort of G Rank one from a few games ago. So I actually really like the, uh, the design for this one because I mentioned in the video the other day that I've not really been a huge fan of Rathalos gear in recent years. It's just not something that's really always appealed to me, but that one, that Master Rank set does look very awesome. Of course, then in the battle against Tigrex, we do get a look at the Master Rank Naga Kuga gear. Now, this is rather interesting because, you know, keeping in mind this will be Master Rank for the purposes of Iceborne, but the actual gear itself looks more reminiscent of the high rank Naga gear of old. So it may well be a situation whereby if it's a monster we haven't had in world before, then it might just be that they take whatever the favorite armor set is. So, you know, to be fair, Naga gear, whether it be high rank or whether it be G rank, has always been very cool gear. So I'm kind of cool either way, but this one from previous games appears to be the high rank set, but in the context of Iceborne will of course be in our master rank endeavors. Also in this same scene, we see the bow user wearing the Puke Puke gear, and we also see the charge blade user with master rank Diablos gear. Now we saw the Black Diablos gear in the weapon previews, again we'll go over that in a second, but this is a look at Diablos gear, and again, Diablos high rank has always been a little bit bulky and crazy, but I do like the chest piece for the Master Rank gear, I have done in the past, so it's one of those kind of really cool looking pieces, so at least for the males, it's a piece that I uh, would definitely wear. And the Hunter in the background is rocking the Anjanath gear with the dual blades. Finally, when it comes to the turf war between Tigrex and Olegaren, this armor set here is the female version of the Bear Todos armor. Then finally, to round out all the other ones, we of course got some very nice clear pictures in the weapon previews last week. So to very quickly recap those ones, we got to look at the Master Rank Puke Puke gear, we got to look at the Bear Todos gear for both male and female, the Anjanath Master Rank gear, Master Rank Black Diablos, Bambaro, Great Jiros, Great Jagras, Doba, Legiana, Otto Garen, which by the way looks incredible, this is probably one of my favourite new armour sets, and Master Rank Rathian. So, that's the running total of the armour sets we've seen thus far. Now I'm super excited to see what the playable demo next week has for Iceborne when we're at E3, because 
If it's anything like, say, the demos they had in the past, then sometimes you can kind of go to the camp just before you embark on your mission, and there are a few different armor sets in there you can put on, so maybe there might be something new. So rest assured, when I go hands on at E3, I'll be diving into that box to try and see what I can discover. And if there's anything new, I'll be bringing it back to you guys. But for the time being, those are the armor sets we've got. Lots of very cool stuff, and I cannot wait to see what else we have in store for us as we get closer to launch. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and also click on the little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss my next upload. Also don't forget, you can check out 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. Be sure to drop by and get involved. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.